Qu'est-ce qui se passe dans ce foutu désert, nom de Dieu Un titre à ce film. My name is Yvan Le Pays. I am an artist living in Paris and I used to travel for capturing landscapes. When I was a kid, my souvenirs were represented by the landscapes I can observe through the windows of my parents' car. Growing up, I've been really obsessed with capturing new landscapes. It was for me like taking pictures of my memories. A few years later, the tattoo became the way for me to keep a trace of my travels like a diary written directly on the skin. Thus, a friend of mine made me a portable power supply that allowed me to go tattooing outdoor. So I started to make tattoos in the nature. On my body, but also on the friends I was traveling with to share with them the souvenir of a place we visited together, using the body as a blank canvas. During the first trip in California, I came to Yucca Valley and I met uh, these two girls, uh, Silov and Sofia. We were living together, we are married, and for me, they were a super huge symbol of uh, what the roads can bring to you. And someone you didn't know a lot, but it was so intense that you know they will be your friend forever, you know? There's a certain amount of timelessness out here in the desert. You know, there's just this sand and this rock. It hasn't changed for thousands of years. It was here before we came and it'll be here after. So the Kelso Dunes, I've never been there, but I've always wanted to go because there's a phenomenon called the uh, booming dunes, which only exists in seven or eight dunes around the world. And it's a phenomenon where the dunes create their own music, their own sound so heavily that it actually vibrates the whole mountain and it vibrates your whole body. Very exciting. We're going to try to mix like some shapes around here, what we observe. 
Let's keep it simple like that, okay? Pushing your limits. Way. Do you love it? I do. It's magnifique. Oui. And taking this piece of the desert, capturing it with your work on me, and then I'll have that with me for the rest of my life, whether or not we live in the desert anymore. For us, mm -hmm. a memory Forever. to share. Yeah. to better observe all the small details that compose the landscapes. Then, after filling out some sketchbooks, I thought that was not so adapted for these white spaces to be reduced on a small paper. So I started painting to involve my whole body in the movement of the lines, using new colors inspired by the nature.
this this painting was made for expressing a good uh, emotions, a good souvenir, like a, a, um, a memory or a trip, and keeping a trace of a beautiful landscape. Everyone knows it's about like a global warming, and I don't know what to do. And painting is not going to change anything. It's it's just a way to express uh, what I feel now. It's nothing more complex than this. And it's totally useless, but it's useful for me. I used the lines for creating drawing inspired by these rocks. And when I visited Joshua Tree and Yosemite for the first time, I was kind of frustrated to not be able to climb on it because I saw a lot of people like doing crazy choreography on the wall and on the boulder and just like a, I mean, it was aesthetic, but as well, it was a super good way to connect the body with the nature, with the landscape. I just want to understand how it works and the moves you can do. And so after, Two years, I decided to start climbing myself. In order to understand this new connection between the body and the landscapes, I wanted to meet someone who has a really specific vision of climbing. Mentally, I think that climbing can be very like meditative. You're able to really like use your imagination in a lot of ways. It's both like what you think of, but also what your body does. I think a lot of friends of mine, they call my style of climbing like very radical movements <laughs> just because I often do moves that no one ever thinks of because of my background of thinking like a dancer. So my father was a Bhutto dancer. Bhutto is like an avant-garde form of dance that was founded in Japan, also known as like the dance of the dark soul. Growing up, like he was my coach and mentor in so many aspects. I think that how I climb is largely, mostly influenced by his trainings in dance. It's up to you to like create your own like art. And the art is the strategy or like the way in which you go from the bottom to the top. Your path isn't laid out and nothing is fixed. And like, you don't follow one method. It's up to you and your own imagination to create that. 
So I think it's more like a blank canvas. <laughs> to see like someone else's perspective of my climbing in art form. It's, it's really cool because I, I can visualize it, but I don't know what it's like to actually watch from afar. It reminds me a lot of like calligraphy. The strokes are so simple, but are so meaningful. When I started this trip in California, the body was for me just like a blank canvas. At the end of this journey, it became a tool of creation that allows me to make visible a line that connects the body and the landscape. Mm -hmm. 